This is Mr. Joe from Virtuobotics. Today, I'm gonna to be going over a device that I've been wanting to carry for a really long time. It's a pressure sensor. And so, basically, this little device is going to measure the pressure that we apply to it with our handy dandy fingers. And uh, I'm gonna show you the circuit that you can use to uh, get this working on the Versalino or Arduino or any other microcontroller with an analog port. So, let's go ahead and see how it works. Right here we have a diagram that I've already drawn out that represents the circuit that we're going to be creating to measure the pressure on our pressure sensor which is this right here uh, to our Versalino Uno in this case. Basically what we're doing is we've got a variable resistor which is dependent on pressure and a 22 kilo ohm resistor right here. Between 5 volt supply. So over here we have ground, here we have 5 volts. Uh, if this was to be 0 ohms, then we would see 5 volts right here. If this was to be 22k ohms, we would see 2.5 volts. And so as the resistance on this increases, uh, we get less and less voltage on V out and as it decreases we get more and more voltage on V out and so what what we're looking for is a way to measure the amount of pressure consistently that's applied here and so this will go to our analog pin on the Versalino and by pressing on this we should be able to get consistent results on the output this right here is our sensor So basically, what you have is, this is the variable resistor component. It's got like three layers of material that respond to pressure. Uh, and then these are your output pins. We'll need a 22 kilo ohm resistor, which is right here. And our breed board. some jumper pins, our Versalino Uno, and the FTDI for programming it. So first let's go ahead and set up this circuit. So I'm going to put right here. So we got that plugged in there. Going to put our resistor right here. Okay, and according to this, we want our ground on this side, so we'll put it right here. We want our 5 volts on this side. And then our output is, if you look closely, that would be the pin where the resistor and the uh, pressure sensor are touching each other. Okay, so now on the Versalino, you've got your ground down here. Got your output, we're gonna put on analog pin zero on, actually let's do bus A. So bus A ground, analog zero, and VDD right there. So we're all set up. Okay, and so let's go over and program. Okay, so here we have the uh, sketch that we're working on to run this. So first we want to include the Versalino library, and then we're going to, in setup, we are going to go and change pin mode for bus A analog zero to input. We're going to digital write uh, bus A analog zero to high, which turns on the pull-up resistor. Then we are going to set up our serial at 9600 baud. And then in our loop, we've got a real simple application here of delaying 20, uh, 250 milliseconds. 
and then printing our analog uh, reading off of bus A analog zero to the screen. So with something simple like this, we should be able to pretty accurately see when something is being pressed. And so I already have the program uploaded over here. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, so we are plugging it in. You can see that data is being transmitted. So let's see what the data is. Okay, so we open up the serial monitor and we start seeing readings. So I'm getting pretty consistently around 380s, right? So let me just barely touch it here. So that's not enough, but let's, let's see a little more. Okay, and that jumps straight up to the four or 500 region. Let me push a little bit harder. The highest I can get this is like 950, but I gotta push as hard as I can possibly push. So there, that is my maximum finger strength, right there. So you actually get quite a lot of variation, like here I'm kind of barely touching it, but you can definitely tell it's being touched. And uh, you can actually vary your resistances um, to get data that you prefer. Um, and so that is basically how this sensor works, nice and simple. Uh, hopefully that helped. Let me know what you want to see in our next video, and I look forward to hearing from you all.